One of the more interesting problems that we have in the first problem set in CE 300 is number five. In number five, the cash flow diagram is a little unusual. It asks us to solve for the number of compounding periods rather than the amounts of money. So if we started with a loan of $22,000, we can say that that would equal the present value of this series of payments, but it doesn't tell us what each one of these payments is. Instead, the given information in problem five is the sum of all the payments, which is equal to $50,331. To find out the number of payments that are made, we're using annual compounding, we're going to use the same formula that should be familiar to us by now. P equals A times the quantity 1 plus i raised to the n minus 1 all over i 1 plus i to the n. The challenge in the problem is figuring out what is a. If the sum of all of these payments from 1 to n equals 50,331, then a equals 50,331 over n. Substituting the known values into this equation gives us 22,000 equals 50,331 over n times 1 plus 0.18 raised to the n minus 1 all over 0.18, 1 plus 0.18 raised to the n. Solving this problem requires either Excel or a sophisticated calculator with an equation solver. You would type in the equation and then you would ask it to graph or solve for n. But the FE doesn't allow those sophisticated types of calculators. So the question is, how do we solve for n? Fortunately, the FE, just like the problem set, is multiple choice. So to solve this problem, use a technique called guess and check. Start with A or B or C or whatever answer is your best guess. Plug that in to substitute for n and see if you can get the right-hand side of the equation to equal the left. Give that a shot for problem set one, problem number five, and post the results for me on Slack.